Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. Today I'll be talking about hepatitis D virus treatment and prevention. This will be my second presentation on hepatitis D virus. If you haven't listened to the first presentation, please kindly do, because there I've explained in full why hepatitis D virus is dependent on hepatitis B. So, I will not be able to go over that today, but if you can check my channel for that, then you'll be able to get a clearer picture as by the prevention and treatment today. Okay, thank you. When it comes to the treatment of hepatitis D virus, the first question to ask ourselves is, are we dealing with any symptom here? Is this patient symptomatic? If the answer is yes, most of the times we are gonna give only supportive treatment. But if we are faced with chronic hepatitis D virus, established with increase of the this virus RNA level, and there is you know, the picture of insult to the liver with increased ALT, then the liver biopsy is also revealing chronic hepatitis and fibrosis. For sure, this is a serious issue. Then we have to give pegylated interferon for one year. The treatment with pegylated interferon for one year could be given as pegylated interferon alpha 2A at the dose of 180 microgram every week or pegliter interferon alpha 2b at the dose of 1.5 microgram per kilogram every week we can deal with concomitant hepatitis b virus with either xenophobia or entecava There is experimental treatment for hepatitis D virus, but remember, you will be dealing with hepatitis B virus co-infection if there's any diagnosis of hepatitis D virus that is symptomatic. So, either experimental or not, we should have that at the back of our mind. And you can check my channel for full presentation on hepatitis B virus treatment already published. So back to the experimental treatment. The Bavarian Foscanet and Asacrovia is undergoing experimental treatment, but there, there are no good results in the trials with the above treatment so far. Others are specific inhibitors of hepatitis D virus prenylation which means inhibitors of hepatitis D virus lipidation. For example, Lunafanium, the fantasy transferase inhibitor is good for this purpose. It could be given as Lunafanium 100 milligram to 200 milligram twice daily for 28 days. Or you can combine Lunafanium with Ritonavir can also combine lunafanium with pegylated interferon. You may combine pegylated interferon with rebavirin for 48 weeks. Or you combine pegylated interferon with adephobia. In acute formulary hepatitis due to co-diversion of hepatitis B and D, we can use Foscanet. But liver transplant is the ultimate in the face of severe liver failure, hepatocellular carcinoma, or severe liver cirrhosis. Lastly, prevention. Prevention, they say, is better and cheaper than cure. That is, if the case is even curable at all. 
because we want to embark on effective preventive measure against hepatitis D virus, we will then give vaccination against hepatitis B virus. And that will be the most effective way to prevent hepatitis D virus infection. Why that? I have said in the previous presentation that hepatitis D could replicate on its own, but there will be no complete virion assembly and secretion without the envelope being supplied by hepatitis B. So, infection will not manifest. There will be no damage to the system of affected individual if there is hepatitis D without the presence of hepatitis B. Therefore, all measures to prevent hepatitis B will allow all human beings that will acquire hepatitis D to have a good life. Passive prophylaxis with hepatitis B immunoglobulin will not, will not likely completely prevent reinfection with hepatitis D virus. But without hepatitis B virus infection, there will be no recurrent liver disease. And lastly, all preventive measures against hepatitis B will be helpful here. So kindly check my channel for that. I have presented a full list of the processes to prevent hepatitis B virus. Check my channel for that, please. And with that, I've come to the end of this short presentation. Now we know how to deal with hepatitis D virus through hepatitis B virus prevention and also the treatment of hepatitis D virus. Thanks for listening. Remember to share. Please remember to subscribe. I appreciate it.